we just got the iron clays from the Roxley company. And uh, you don't know anything about these. Right, right. it's a pretty yeah, box. So, yeah, so it's, it's a pretty box that holds the uh, poker chips. Ooh. Yeah, so these are pretty cool. Technically, we can use these in any any of our games. I think there's board games out there that specifically use chips. They're very pretty. I like the art. Very satisfying clink. What's in the other drawer? Uh, so in the other drawer is playing cards. cards. You know, it's funny. Now, did you get these because we recently talked about potentially hosting a poker night? No, this is an old Kickstarter. I mean, this, this just arrived, but... I'm pretty sure it's a Kickstarter from last year. Hmm. So, well, it's obviously from last year since this is so early in the year. But you're right. I, I did mention recently, that, like uh, very, a few very weeks recently, ago. that uh, yeah, Poker Night is in the works. Yeah. So, I mean, it's very, it's pretty, uh, and it's very heavy. And and the nice thing about this is this this drawer is meant to come out. Okay. So it's got a felt bottom. So you mm -hmm. just take the whole drawer out, and and there's your bank. In fact, I, I believe this isn't even meant to be a standard drawer, per se. Like, they don't intend for you to pull it out halfway and pull these out. Mm -hmm. I think the intention is just to pull the whole thing out. And just set it on the because table. Because there's, there's magnets in here that you can't just pull this open. Mm -hmm. it's, it's more I guess of they a, don't want your chips just flying all over the place if you mishandle the box. Right. So, I mean, you can just grab the box and it's just not going to fly out all mm -hmm. over the place. I mean, you have to, you have, you have to, to hold it in place. You have to really want it. Uh, to, to get it out of there. Now, is this wood? It's wood. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's pretty. Oh, I was hoping this would be engraved. It's not. It's, it's still pretty. It's not. It's nice, but there's problems with it. Uh, so when it arrived... It's got that... Oh, a smashed corner? Yeah, smashed corner. Not only is it a smashed corner, it's smashed on the front. This is the box that it was shipped in. As you can see... Yeah, it, all the corners are... Well, it was dropped. Multiple times. Okay, especially that one. And I'm guessing that's probably that chipped corner. Um, the problem is, is the... The shipping, the, the packaging that, that it came in is super thin. I mean, sure, it's got foam all, around. Uh, foam all around, but the weak points, the weak points are right at the corners. You know, and I can imagine with a box this size, it's, um, you know, even if it's marked fragile, it, it's not, sort of heavy, uh, but a box this size easily goes into a truck and gets placed on top of something. Mm -hmm. And, and then, then it slides off and, you know, from mm -hmm. a, re a reasonable height, I mean, right there. And there's nothing in here and I can smash that corner into far enough that it would have hit that corner. So, yeah, completely insufficient packaging uh, for something that's this heavy. That heavy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you would think that foam would be enough, but yes, this is a very heavy box. Right. It needs probably like those cardboard corners, you know, that you get those really thick mm -hmm. ones that you get when you buy furniture. We buy Ikea, Ikea yeah, well, furniture. I mean, if this was empty, if it was empty, I think it would have been fine. Mm -hmm. um, but everything came fully loaded. So, I mean... I mean, that's nice. So you could just pull it out and everything's, you know, all set to go. But, mm -hmm. yeah, this is very heavy. <laughs> like, I probably... I can't lift that up with one hand. I can't... I mean, even... Ow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> Nice demonstration. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Sacrifice my finger yeah. for you. One of the other issues that I have with this is that these are not in place. Like these these dividers here, mm -hmm. they move. Yeah, you know, I don't know if they pull all the way out, mm -hmm. and I really don't want to force it all the way out. It's not like this was cheap. You know, if if this were, yeah, you, know, you can get a, you can get a poker chip set. I mean, I go to the rummage sale at a church and you get a poker chip set for two bucks. Mm -hmm with twice as many chips as this. 
Um, but, you know, the intention here is to get something nice that you're always going to use. Or a collector's piece, you know, certainly even a display piece. If poker was my only game, that was the only thing that I hit the table, you know, this would probably just be sitting on the table mm -hmm. the whole time. One of my other issues is the cards. Pick one. Oh. Doesn't come out, does it? <laughs> Still have a nail? Yeah. yeah. Try the other one. Damage the box, so I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the problem. And that, that that's the risk that happens every yeah, time you put them Yeah, that is way in. too tight. Like, why wouldn't you have put a little bit of wiggle room in there? Now, that's not even the worst part. Put it back in. You're crushing the box just to get in there. Yeah, right I don't here. want to. Yeah, see, that's... I wonder if you're not meant to store it with the box. If you're meant to just throw the cards in there. But who yeah. does that? I mean, who designs a tuck case this elaborate? That you're that supposed you're to just toss, toss? It away? No. no, I suppose it's true. Oh. oh, look at that. Yeah, that's another thing that I had is when this got wrapped in plastic. Um, I don't know if the glue wasn't dry yet on the seal or whatever, but as I took the plastic off, it started it to lift the seal off. And so to prevent lifting any more of the seal off, I just let the plastic rip. And so now I've just got these plastic hangers here. Okay, because you know me, I cut it right along the seal if I'm mm -hmm. going to get these cards out of here. So, I mean, I can understand, you know, if you're not a collector. You are. Yeah, I happen to collect playing cards. So um, this, was, this was actually one of the selling points for this specific set was that it came with a matching set of uh, collector's playing cards. I have, uh, I have a bit of a collection. Yeah, and a it's lot. A, it's like it's, a whole wall in one of our... Yeah. rooms upstairs yeah and so this this just damages the tuck cases every time you put it in or or try to get it out well and so the bad thing is i mean this is like a standard size deck so it's not like you could even put another deck in there and it would fit fine it's right anything is going to have to be crushed to yeah. get in here you know it's anyway. three feet can you stand it up can it stand up on the feet i mean i know they're meant to be pulls pulls but oh, that's kind of neat yeah you could you could just do that Hmm. Do you yeah. like it better now? Not really, because <laughs> because one <laughs> one of the other problems. Look at the finish on the knobs. Oh, it's like wiping off. Yeah, no, it came like that. All three of them. Yeah, Dremel. <laughs> Dremel. <laughs> so take you can polish just it. Completely take the brass finish off and just have silver knobs. Or maybe there were silver knobs and it's just tarnished. I don't know. I'd have to go back to the Kickstarter to figure well, out. Well, silver would make more sense because it's white. Uh, I have to go back and figure out what color those are actually supposed to be. Because they're not a single color. Um, I mean, I didn't even notice that until you pointed it out. Well, right. Again, so if you don't look too closely at this, it's very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> it's a butterface. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. I didn't say it. You taught that to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. It's pretty. It's really heavy. I can't imagine. But for how much we all paid for this, it's the quality of it is. I mean, it says right on the box, highest quality. Eh, no. I mean, I think the biggest thing is the shipping. Like, I feel like oh, the shipping it arrived, the it shipping arrived was damaged. Horrible. And that's, yeah. that's just very disappointing. Yeah. I mean, you could get around everything else. Although, no, you know, I lie. I think the most disappointing thing is this. The fact mm -hmm. that you can't get the cards in and out. And it is... It's a poker set. Mm -hmm. You should be able to get... I mean, there should be a little bit of wiggle room there. I mean, kudos to them for being exact, but geez. No, well, that's not exact. <laughs> Because you have to crush the box in order to get it in there. I mean, I, thinking about, you know, if I had designed this and someone said, okay, we're going to make these really super tight so it's really hard to get these out. And, you know, you're like testing it because that's what you would do, right? You'd build mm -hmm. a couple of prototypes. You'd be like, oh, yeah, no, I'm going to break my nail getting this out. Why would you do that? Who would say, yeah, that's that's the final product? This was, I emailed them. I emailed them, said, you know, it came damaged. The finish is off. Mm-hmm. And what did they say? They never responded. Nothing. They, like, they oh, never well, responded. We have it's your like money. A, yeah, they have our money. So there it is. 
Iron Clays. Uh, I mean, they have they have an active Kickstarter right now, like for a board game or something. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah. is it pretty? I don't know. <laughs> it's not like I'm gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna get a Kickstarter from them. Yeah. You know? I mean, I suppose if this is a board game and that corner was like that. Oh well, I've got plenty of games just like that. Yeah, you know? that still bothers us though. Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> all right. Well. Iron Clays. Yeah. Hmm. It's all right. I mean, it is pretty. Could have been better. It could have been a lot better. 